Mr. Bobby himself here with us. Sorry. No, we're all right. Wait. Bobby, baby. Bobby, baby. Uh, let's just jump right into it. Why not, right? What do you think? All right, yes. What's, let's just jump right into Bobby Baby, first of all. Yeah. Uh, what's that like with Wiz chanting Bobby Baby on a tour with Wiz Khalifa and 24K Golden and DJ Drama? At the end of the night, there's 10,000 people, and uh, they're screaming Bobby Baby, man. I love it. I think it's hilarious. It's, like, really funny. I think the thing that I love... Yo, I feel like me and Wiz are literally the same person, but exactly opposite at the same time. Like, we're both positive and different. We're ourselves. You know, we never, like, we don't make moves based on the industry, and yet we still popping in the industry. Well, I feel like, you, you, first of all, you know what you want. Like, I've seen both of you guys decide, even in front of peer pressure or whatever, like, what you want or don't want. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, I've, like, denied joints from Wiz. Yeah. Like, I don't give a damn. Like, Those are beautiful feel, moments. If I don't feel like smoking, he's like, Bobby, baby. I'm like, no, I'm straight. He's like, come on. And he'd be trying to make me feel bad. I'm like, no, I'm sorry. But then, sometimes we do smoke. Or, like, when I came out you on came stage. You came out on stage the other night. night. Yeah, yeah. I had the joint and passed the joint to Wiz. That was tight. Um, <laughs> Bobby, baby. I don't know if I'm, you know, I don't know if I'm spoiling this, but there might be a surprise later tonight, just so you know. I don't know what that means. Okay, cool. Why would you say that? Just because. It's going to be fun to get the reaction later. Why would you say that? Why would you even you say You said it yesterday that? to Wiz. You said, I have a surprise for you. No, I said it weeks ago. And then I said it. <laughs> I did. And then I did say it yesterday. You did. But I said which it was, to Wiz. You which was great. It to it's me. all right. It's all right. You Is have it? no idea. Now you I'm going to go to Wiz and be like, no, no, no <laughs> ah, don't do that. Man. Bonics no, I uh, see that. Snitching, don't no snitching, Bob. Right, no I snitching, Bob. Snitch. But you did get the Taylor Gang tattoo today, which is really awesome. I did, yeah. Look at that. Look at this, man. What made you? Did you know you wanted to do that, or what, what's up, man? I also just got a face tattoo. I'm trying to get a tattoo today. What is that? Let me see what the it face says, is. Wow. What does it, say? Can you read it? it says LB. LB, little Bobby, my baby. Little Bobby, that's amazing. Yeah, that's amazing. So, uh, his mom's handwriting. In his mom's handwriting. Yeah. That's amazing. Sexy What's that like being a dad, bro? <laughs> like, uh, I love it. It's the best thing in the whole world. It makes you... Do you have kids? I don't. You need to bust a nut I know, real man. quick. Please. You need to shoot up the club. I know. I... <laughs> it's it's freeing and scary. Yeah. And makes you way less selfish and beautiful and hard and worth it. Now, you said something last night, which was so funny. We were in Detroit last night, and they had this kid in the crowd, and you put him on the big screen, and you had said, you're like, yo, how could you not want to cheer for this kid if you're this kid? So you had, like, 10,000 or more people screaming this kid's name, like, and you I gave him your hat. His like Carter. Carter, that's right. His that's parents right. named him after Lil Wayne. Wayne. Yeah. And he's just this cute little kid, and I was like, Carter, Carter, and, like, maybe 2,000 people yeah, were was, saying Carter. And I was like, you were all a ch children once. Right. And if this was you, you would want the whole arena <laughs> screaming your name. And then everyone started it was screaming a, it. That was such a beautiful moment. And you actually done, you, in your shows, you've created all these moments, which obviously I think feel like just spur of the moment. i seen you give, yo, I've never even seen an artist do this in my life. You gave away free tickets for life for the dude who was at least at five or six shows this no, that was the guy who was at 37 shows oh my god and then there was other people who yeah came to seven or this or that or whatever but i just love taking care of people man spread that positivity that's what it's all about that's what life's about you know what i'm saying what do you think is about you and wiz that uh that were like you guys could do a tour like this Without, like, you know, the hit song of the summer or anything like that. It's, it's just a, you know, a testament to the fan base. Yeah, you know? fan base, and we're solidified. We're here, and we're not going anywhere. Like, we're a very apparently decade-plus artists, and, yeah, we have hits. Yeah, definitely have hits. We've made I mean, hits, big, we've made probably, hit like, yo, I mean, we're not talking about hits. Like, you and him, I you know, when we were, before the tour came, I was thinking, like, 1-800 and See You Again are, like, life-changing. Oh, like, literally. 1-800 like, and See You Again. And the funny thing is, he's got banger bangers, but then black and yellow and every day for right. me. It's, they're kind of like that. But, I mean, without question, Wiz has way more commercial bangers than I've ever had or probably ever will have. But luckily, I have successful albums as well and i've had albums that my fans have have really rocked with me um through 
that maybe didn't have hits on it, but I was able to garner my fan base that way as well, which is pretty cool. Yo, I mean, besides the hits, though, you and Wiz have three, it's, I think it's three, Breath Control, no, Indica Badu. More, than, more than three? Yeah, we got Breath Control, Indica Badu, Hi Today. Hi Today. Sucker for Pain. Uh, oh, and, damn. And I think uh, Still Ballin', a song called Still Ballin'. We got five. Still ballin'. Still ballin'. Because I do a song called Ballin'. It's like ballin', ballin', and then I did Still Ballin'. Ah, cool. but yo, the I mean the the breath control on vinyl days, absolute smash. When you like, when you get Wiz in that pocket, there was like this fan last night, man. That was so funny, right? He wore the Logic jersey. You see him, ball headed dude. Yeah. He was sitting right in front, right. I was watching him during your set, and he was like going crazy. And when he when Wiz when Wiz was on, he didn't show, he didn't even smile during it until you came out. And then he rapped every single word of Wiz's verse on Indica Badu. And I was like, man, you really. A lot of people like that pocket that you have on Wiz, like on Breath Control and Indica Badu. So those beats definitely, you yeah, know. Yeah, man. You know, we we finna do an album. I hope so, man. There was talk on tour about the album, so I we hope that we're gonna do an album together. That's and gonna it, be amazing. And he was like, "Whatever." He was like, "Bobby, just put it together." I was like, "All right." Yeah, yeah. So yeah. you know, it's gonna be fire. I'm gonna yeah. be picking all the beats and shit. I love that, man. Speaking of Vinyl Days, amazing album. I think you really captured that like '90s nostalgic hip hop head, like funk flex. Uh, Michael Rappaport and just like, dude, the drop from Aaron Judge and just the whole album and I think the Russ song, I I, was dope, I think man. the Russ song is like super fire. He's super Therapy dope. music, yeah, yeah, yeah he's dope, man. And he, I feel like we both matured and come a, a, a long way as men and men in the game. So I really fuck with Russ. He's a good guy. Yeah. And um, he falls under that cat, that crazy fan category with you guys too. Does like it. crazy. Oh yeah, big time. Russ is the shit, man. Right. Uh, you dropped the beat tape recently. I did. It's called Peanuts. I like it. The art for it. Yeah. I like it. And uh, I dropped it (laughs) two days ago, I think. And I saw you DJing on stage. Is that for the first time ever on stage? No. I don't know. I definitely wasn't DJing. It was was cool. Pushing play. (laughs) It was good. It was good. This guy just does like whatever on a show. It's amazing. I'm gonna get into it. I just bought a rig. I think you should. What's the joint that you and uh, Drama are using? Uh, it's, it's a like DDJSZ, yeah, yeah. It's like I a controller. Those one. are controllers. So I literally just bought one. Perfect. And I'm gonna learn Serato, and I think what I'm gonna start to do is play like small clubs and shit, and just spin my my beats. Your shit, that's amazing. Just dope hip hop beats, and then every once in a while do a rap. I mean, and get I that s- fucking bag. You heard it first right here. D- is it like DJ Logic? No, oh, because yeah, because yeah, there's a I'm DJ just, Logic out I'm just there. Gonna already. be Logic DJing. Logic DJing. So Logic is just gonna be like. Hey, here's Logic. Logic. <laughs> the flyer says Logic is DJing. Legit. <laughs> I like that. DJ set by Logic. I love it. The Logic. Yo, 30, almost 30 cities in five or so weeks. Insane. Um, is that pre- it's pretty grueling. I don't think I've a lot of rap. I've never done that ever. Y- you never done like, that? Whoa, no, no. I've done some, like, starting out, like, 2013, 2012, like, those tours. Right. That was crazy. And we were in like sprinter vans and little compact cars driving across America at like fucking 21. But as a 32 year old man, mm. I ain't never done nothing like this. And Wiz just seems completely unaffected. Yeah, I, I, well, we don't know anything different. So actually, Rhetoric said that to me before we started tour. He was like, man, we haven't done like four or five days in a row in a while. And, and to us, it's like, I, we don't know no better, which is could be a bad, good or bad thing because we're I, I exhausted it's as fuck. Of, it's it's kind of cool because you guys hit a lot of dates and you do it quick. I, I feel like it's like what it would be like if we were like on a rock band in the 80s or something, you know, just like grueling. Yeah, and sure. But also it's like you get that bag and then you can chill. You know what I'm saying? Oh, your computer died. Oh, I think it's still going. I hope. Oh, yeah. oh here we go. Like All right. Well, uh, what I what I do want to say is, man, thank you so much for just being amazing uh, partner on tour with us. It's so cool seeing you just be enthusiastic about um, music and sure. just like where you're at. Th- I thought it was really interesting that you and Wiz actually never met before. I know, isn't that? Isn't weird? that crazy? But you have a few songs, and how did? What's that bridge? Or like, who reached out to who? Or what? The, I don't what even the? know. I don't think I could tell you. Is it Frozen? Nope. Uh, oh no. Here, that's weird. It's probably just because it went off, but I think it's still. Recording. You think it's still recording? All right. Well, we'll just wrap it up here then. Anyway, well, thank you so much. Uh, Wait, hold on. No, Let me okay. just YOLO. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, YOLO. So, so Wait, maybe I can reset the camera here, and maybe can it'll you? work. Hold on, we're gonna try it. Hold I'm on. Having fun? You trying to rush me off your shit? No, no. I, hey. What a fucking asshole. Jeez. Here Damn, we go, Logic. Why is he tripping on you, dog? I don't know. 
We're gonna activate. activate. There hey, we go. We, we back. back. We back, baby. We back, baby. Bet right. you we was there the whole yeah, time. yeah. So wait, not meeting Wiz and like you don't even remember how that first started out. I have no idea, but what I can say, my earliest. Actually, okay. So there's two altercations mm. I have with Wiz Khalifa. The most recent one is like 2017. He knocked on on my door with Bash when he was a little kid oh. for Halloween candy. At your house? At you guys were neighbors? House. No, I was living next to Black China. Okay. And Rob Kardashian. All right, all right. <laughs> That's how you know we bougie. Random. And <laughs> and I was in my guest house, and my friend was like in the crib, and he just opened the door, and there was. <laughs> and the whiz was right there. Yeah. Did he know it was your house? No. Oh, okay. And then the other one, and I didn't get to see him. And then the other one is him and Trey the Truth shot a music video in 2010 south by southwest okay and i'm in the background of that music really i don't think i'm even in the video i think i'm in the behind the scenes to the wiz khalifa and trey the truth song and i'm wearing a blue logic hat and you can see me for like a second and i started out right behind the couch and then little by little they were like hey can you move back (laughs) oh yeah and they were bringing bitches up I get it. It's, it's cool. I saw Trey actually stop by the tour. I know. It's pretty cool. Like I'm just I didn't see him before him, but you know, you're just performing and then there's Trey the Truth right there. He's a good dude, man. Rap God. Straight up. Yeah, so it's it's been cool. Those are my those are my the two times I kinda was around Wiz but not really before we actually met ten years later. Amazing. Is there something that you took from Wiz on this tour that you um you know, as far as like how he you know, seeing him on stage every night? I mean, honestly, yeah, he just inspires me to just continue to have more fun with it. Right. Not overthink shit. Just, right. yo, it is what it is. You know what I mean? Like, just have fun. You no, know, I feel that. I used to, like, come from, like, such a hip-hop head kind of. Everything's got to be so <laughs> yeah. intense. Nah. Exactly. Hip-hop, cuh. But, uh, nah, man, it's been a, such a pleasure seeing you. And even on this rise, you know, I'm old, I'm a little older, so just watching you really be authentic about what you do, keeping the rap culture, you know, the shout-out to Wu-Tang, Funko Master Flex, All that the vinyl life. days, the beats, you know what I'm saying? You're keeping that, that boom bap. rap life. I love it. You know what I'm saying? And you can really rap, bro. I know I can. It's amazing. I'm fucking good at rapping. I asked Castro, I was like, man, you really got to feel some way for to like be on stage with Bobby, rapping next to Bobby yeah, every night. He's really good. Yeah. Yo, Castro I, makes me, I'll be like, damn. He's so good. That's why I love Wiz, because Wiz be rapping. Yeah. It's, like, yeah when I yeah. get Wiz on a record, when I get anybody on a record, when anybody's on a fucking record with Logic, they got to bring it. Right. And that's me being honest. I ain't being, oh, he's full of himself. Fuck that. I, I thought that. I spent uh, my whole life to be as good as I am. Right I now. thought that way of, that's why I was really not shocked because I know Russ is a good rapper, but he definitely came oh, strong. Good. Yeah, he was. That's dude, what I love. He was super on on that one. Anyway, and Wiz on Indigo Badu is super ill, and Breath Control yeah, he's too. Dope. I can't wait for that album, man. TGRP. TGRP. We appreciate you being super cool and not super Hollywood on us. Oh yeah. Congratulations, man. You've been through it, bro, and you know it's super inspiring. From, you know. Just seeing you, man, you know, from being homeless to your battles with the labels to sure. just, you know, fucking trolls. Yeah, yeah I know. Trolls. Yeah. Now I'm doing whatever I want. I don't give a fuck. That's what's so great about having a child. That shit. Internet. Somebody on the Internet talking about you whack or you this or you that. I'm rich. <laughs> and my child is healthy. Could give a fuck. You heard it first. Can we talk about DJ drama real quick? Yeah, what, him yeah. being black and white? I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. well, yeah, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. He's biracial. He's biracial. Like, like, do you guys talk about that at all? Or? I brought it up. Of course, you know I did. And how, what did he say? You guys share, like, he a moment? Laugh. Shed I a tear? he was Puerto Rican or some shit. No, nah, his mom's white. No, I didn't from know Philly. that. I didn't even know he was from Philly for a long and time, too. We had too, this so. connection. That's amazing. Any music you think with him? For sure. Wait, let me ask you this. There's a talk right now. DJ Khaled versus DJ Drama on a versus. What do you know about that? What do you think? Damn. I just feel like Gangsta Grill's got that shit. Yeah, I mean, he's got a lot. Because, like, Khaled's got bangers, but, like, if we're talking rap shit, though, too, like, for real, like, for real. them rap bangers, like, right. bro, my man has an entire Gangsta Grill's with Pharrell. <laughs> Yo, like, got, let's slow it down here. I mean, okay? even the Kevin Gates, like, everything oh, has been, it's been We need amazing. that Logic Gangsta Grill's. We sure. need the Logic Gangsta Grill's. Yeah. I love that. I mean, dude, we got to tour with a DJ that won a Grammy, and, and that's just fucking I know. incredible. It's pretty amazing. Congratulations Incredible. to my biracial brother in arms. 
<laughs> Logic, thank you for just being so different. I said this to Castro earlier. I was like, he's like, you're you're the weirdest dude in the best way possible. Who, Castro? No, you are. Oh, me? Really? Yeah, yeah. in the what? best way possible, man. How, what does that mean? I don't know. You just like. I'm weird? Yeah, in a great way, man. Thanks. You're so interesting, bro. I, I like how you it. just like pop in, you pop out. You're like aware and you're like in the mix and you're, you just like. You do it well. Hey, I'll be popping in like Cosmo Kramer. You do. Except not racist. <laughs> except not. I was going to say. <laughs> Bobby, thank you so much on all the success. Hope you could do it again. You, Maybe you'll have another kid next time we see you. I mean, I've been shooting up the club, so we'll Damn. see. Damn. See that? Bobby for Prez, all baby. Right, I, you, I appreciate you. Peace out. Let me get a little bonnet drop on the record oh. right here. Yo, what's up? I'm just kidding. Hey, what's up? It's Logic. I'm here with my man, DJ Bonnix. Turn the fuck up. Oh, should I probably not shouldn't curse in the drop, right? Let's do it again. Here we All go. right, cool. Here we go. Yo, what's up? It's Logic here with the greatest DJ in the entire universe, Bonix. I appreciate that. TGRP, man. We got to say that now. TGRP. I appreciate that. All right, appreciate My you. man. Thank you, Bobby. Thanks, Thanks for the time. We love you, Bobby. Bobby for Prez. Thank you guys for joining us. Feel free to hit the follow button. If you're a Bobby fan, I got more Logic and... Wiz Khalifa backstage loveliness. Peace.